In this video, we're going to be talking about probability distributions. A probability distribution is a distribution that offers the probabilities associated with all possible outcomes of an experiment. An important fact we need to keep in mind, the sum of all probabilities in any probability distribution is always equal to 1. Let's say we wanted to write the probability distribution for the number of heads that turn up when two coins are tossed. The sample space for the experiment of tossing two coins is over here. We could end up with two heads, one head and one tail, one tail and one head, or two tails. The possible outcomes we're considering is how many heads could come up when we flip two coins. So we could either end up with zero heads, one, or two. Now we need to find the probability of each outcome. So we see that there's four equally likely outcomes in our sample space, and one of them involves getting no heads, so the probability of that will be one out of four. There are two different ways we could get one head, so the probability of that will be two out of four. And there's one way we could get two heads, so the probability of that is one out of four. And if we add all of these probabilities up, we end up getting this, which is equal to one. So when you're writing probability distributions, one way you can determine whether or not you might have made a mistake is to add up all the probabilities in your distribution. If they don't add up to one, you probably did something wrong. If they do add up to one, it's most likely right. Now we'll talk about discrete and continuous probability distributions. In a discrete probability distribution, all possible outcomes only take on a limited number of distinct values, meaning there's gaps between the values. For example, if we flip two coins, we can only land on 0, 1, or 2 heads. We can't land on something like 1.77765 heads or you know, any other numbers like that between 1 and 2. The probability distributions we're going to be talking about in this section are all discrete. In a continuous probability distribution, all possible outcomes can take on infinitely many uncountable values, and there's no gaps between them. So this is stuff we'll be seeing in chapter 6. For example, if we select a person at random and measure their height in inches, they can be 60 inches tall, they can be 61 inches tall, or they can be any number of inches between 60 and 61. Let's look at another example. Here we want to write a probability distribution for the number that's landed on when rolling a six-sided die. So we can see here our sample space has six possible outcomes, one, two, three, four, five, six, or the six faces of the die, and our outcome would be what number we land on, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and the probability of each one should be one out of six. So this is all we would need to do to make a probability distribution. And again, if we wanted to check if we add up all of the probabilities, this is equal to one. Let's look at another example. Write a probability distribution for the number of green marbles we can obtain in an experiment where one marble is drawn from a bag containing five green marbles, two red marbles, and eight blue marbles. So our sample space here has 15 possible outcomes. The outcomes we care about are the number of green marbles we can get when one marble is drawn, and then we want to find the probabilities associated with those outcomes. So we could either end up getting one green marble, because we're drawing one marble, so one green is the most we can get, or we could end up with zero green marbles. Now we see that we have five green out of 15, so the probability of getting one green is five out of 15. The probability of not getting a green is either we get one of the reds or one of the blues, doesn't matter, it's just not green, would end up being 10 out of 15. Here's another example. I would suggest pausing the video here, try to work this one out on your own, then hit play to see me go through the answer. Write a probability distribution for the number of blue marbles we can obtain in an experiment where one marble is drawn from a bag containing five green, two red, and eight blue marbles. So here we're being told one marble is being drawn, and we want to write a probability distribution for the number of blue marbles we could get. So we're only drawing one marble, so we can only end up with either zero blue or one blue marble. There's no way we can get any more than one because we're only removing one from the bag to begin with. And the sample space in this example is the same as the sample space in the last example. There's still the same 15 marbles in the bag. So our probability of getting a blue one, we have eight out of 15 because we were told there's eight blue marbles. 
and our probability of not getting a blue marble would end up being 7 out of 15.